so this is going to be Aries Sun Moon and Rising, a weekly love tarot reading or relationship tarot reading for December 23rd to December 29, 2019. And you guys, if you want to get in touch with me or you want a reading, you can check the description down below there. You're going to find my website and uh, you can manage from there. I mean, my website, you will find all my contacts and, uh, you know, the services I'm providing and so on and so forth. Um, another thing is that if you do want to check as well your career um, general reading for this week, you can as well find the link in the description down below for it and also check it that way. So uh, the very first card which stands as a topic for your love life here, we do have the Six of Pentacles or your relationship um, uh, situation throughout the week that is going to be the six of pentacles followed by the next one here which stands as a uh, energies that are so that is surrounding that uh, topic here and the theme uh, this is going to be the uh, temperance card the third one represents the challenges that you guys have to face throughout the week romantic wise you know relationship wise or love wise that is to be the seven of pentacles Followed by the fourth card, which represents the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the uh, Tree of Cups. Followed by the fifth card, which represents how others are going to see you, how your partner is going to see you, how your husband or your wife, you know, how your person of interest or in generally friends and, and all of your social circle. That is going to be the Seven of Wands. Followed by the... Um, six card here which stand as what can help your long-term goals in regarding relationship uh, wise not your weekly goals but long-term goals so what you have to do throughout this week in order to supplement your long-term goals that is going to be the two of ones uh, followed by the other card which is the seventh one which speaks of uh, what can hurt your long-term goals relationship wise that is going to be the two of pentacles and the last card, which is the seventh, uh, standing as a guidance that Tara is offering to you in regards to relationships, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, lovely. So um, the very first two cards, we have to interpret them together because they are tightly related. We do have the Six of Pentacles and the Temperance, the topic and the team with the energy surrounding the situation. So uh, uh, this week, unfortunately, things are going to be in a stalemate for one or another reason. Uh, that is due to the fact that with the uh, Six of Pentacles, um, how can I say it? There cannot be any fluctuation in the states uh, which are or, or in the status in between you and either your person of interest, partner, husband, wife or, or whatever. And now it's important to acknowledge here throughout these couple of weeks, guys, that um, trying to, uh, tr uh, to traverse or kind of transfer, excuse me, blame, guilt, responsibility or uh, in generally uh, to, to transfer any kind of uh, influence from one to another is going to have a very, very negative effect upon, uh, upon each other. As a matter of fact, with these two cards here, it does look like that this is going to be a week where the relationship is going to become a little bit more stranded than usual or the interaction in between you and your uh, person of interest will become a little bit more stranded for the reason of the... Um, temperance card here which are the energies pointing that uh how can i say it um well it's like honoring uh, the differences in between one another and allowing each other to tackle with their own differences so it's like uh you're not gonna you're not gonna put your nose where your nose does not belong to all right that that is an expression we do have in our country and it literally means mind your own damn business. So uh, this is, uh, so the, the way how I can predict with those two cards is that you are to allow each other to uh, face your own personal problems aside from bringing it into the interactions or into the relationship or into the marriage. And as you both are so consumed by those uh, exterior um, 
problems that you do have either career wise or with friends with family and so on and so forth that's why the relationship will become a little bit more stranded a little bit more distant than usual so do not freak out if you kind of like feel a bit of a distance in between you and your person of interest or in between you and your partner so uh, the other card here points to the challenges uh, that you will have to overcome and face that is to be the seven of pentacles and this is uh, in that particular case it is the challenge of um, not being biased or premeditated in a sense okay and it is the challenge of just taking a, a break uh, it's like the, the relationship or the interaction it does need a little bit of a, a time to feel the um how can i say it to develop okay and you have to give that particular time so this is to be the challenge itself and um how can i predict that things are gonna happen it is because you're gonna feel that stalemate right now you are going to kind of fall into a, a state where you will think that you have to do something about it while in the same time you don't have to do anything about it you just need to wait because with the seven of pentacles uh usually there is a, a very decisive things that are waiting to happen and you just have to wait for those uh, things to happen so in the grand scheme of things patience and, and a uh, time for a rest and to catch up your breath it is needed here and that is to be the challenge for you to do so uh, the other card here represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout this week, love and relationship wise. That is going to be the, the tree of uh, cups. So a bit in a conflict with the energies and uh, this card points that despite that you're going to have your differences in one, or in one or another way, the blessing it is that you will still going to be emotionally connected. So it's kind of like we do have physical disconnection, but yet the emotional connection stands. And additionally to that, uh, this card points that also many uh, of your mutual friends or many people into the social circles, you and your person of interest or partners are, are going to support you throughout this development into relationship. Some of you may experience as well engagement, okay? But this is if you are in a very final stage here of the uh, clearing out the differences in between, uh, in between each other. But the best thing of this card as a gift and blessing, it is that you are gonna share one common goal, you know? But how you're gonna get there? Well, this is where the differences reside. So the other card here represents how others are gonna see you. And that is going to be the seven of wands and actually way too cautious it is like always on one's guard it's like always suspicious that your partner has a an, an affair for example that your person of interest is interest more in someone else and so on and so forth it is like you know always um being the second being the second straw here um, if you know what i mean and that may create more tension than needed and especially for those that are having just a person of interest and not and they are not in a relationship that is a, a bit of a, a dangerous card it is because that same person of interest may kind of see you way too unaccessible at that particular point so you need to kind of learn how to lose uh, your nerves if you will and how to enjoy yourself in order to overcome this uh, particular uh, this particular state of how others sees you so other are gonna see you as a warmonger, as a someone who is way too vigilant to be bothered with, um, way too vigilant and kind of like on edge to be bothered with uh, with anything. And for that reason, you may not be bothered with anything, and therefore missing up a a very vital and valuable interactions as well. So the other card here will represent uh, what is going to uh, help your long-term goal regarding relationship, which for everybody, it's really a family or consolidating family here. Uh, we do have the two of wands and two of wands, it's, it's about, uh, especially in a relationship, it is about controlling, um, not exactly the course, but controlling the giving and taking in a, 
in a term of that, uh, well, how can I say it? Well, this is what I, this is what I'm trying to say. The two of wands in relationship represents uh, the uh, insatiable hunger to have things the way you want them to have, and knowing simultaneously knowing how big influence you do have over the person that you are interested at or the partner that you are with. But at the end of the day, if you're way too tenacious, bruisey, and um, literally harping about what you want, you may lose everything because that person may have enough. So with the two of ones, while you are likely to find yourself throughout this week in a very good position relationship-wise to demand and put ultimatums, you have to be rather not exactly careful, but more objective, fair, uh, in regards to what kind of uh, demands or ultimatums you put into uh, into this relationship or interactions. And this is what you what is gonna help your goals. But you should not be indifferent here and kind of like because you are in a good position right now good things are achieved in between you and that person you either made an impression you know or you kind of like um sustain something into your marriage and right now with this car you need to cash out on this thing okay but you don't have to do it very aggressively now the other card here represents uh what you should not do or what can hurt your goals and it's pretty self-explanatory with the two of pentacles that is about constantly changing your mind all right so you say something you stay behind your word you say that you like that person you stick with this person instead of jumping to someone else to make that person for example for example to uh become jealous right and to see how jealous they can be because there are people that are playing that game and i can assure you with those two cards that this game is not going to serve you any kind of favor so it's like um and also with the two of pentacles, it is like uh, maintaining seriousness in a sense of that uh, making an impression and showing that you do want something serious rather than something just for the shits and giggles. And the last card represents the guidance here for you, Aries, um, relationship wise. And this is the kicker. Knight of Pentacles. It may point to... Um, reviving a relationship because the knights of pentacles relationship wise is like jumping into the old branches of love right but if that's the case then it will mean that you and your ex are have resumed communication for a quite some time all right it is not like your ex is gonna come up this week you all are you are already talking and you are already discussing what's uh, kind of broke the relationship before and how this thing could be excluded as a, a parameter if you jump into a new relationship but nonetheless uh, here um, if that's not the case with you then the knights of pentacles urges you to show devotion when it comes to love all right and when it comes to relationship to show how much you value what you do have with your husband with your wife with your person of interest as well and whatever action you take in order to push that relationship forward it needs to be supported with determination and convictions as well so in other words when you do something you need to look like you mean it right and not that you are doing it just so you do something for the sake of doing something so that being said, Aries, this was your Love Tarot reading for December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. Once again, if you do want to get in touch with me, just check out the description down below in this video and uh, you're going to find my website there, contact form and so on and so forth. If you do want to uh, check as well your career tarot reading for this same very week, uh, the link is going to be found as well in the description down below and uh, enjoy the show and I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.